Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we're going to solve the problem snakes and ladders, the quickest way up. So this is a BFS uh, problem. Let's see uh, what the problem is. Markov takes out his uh, snakes and ladders games, stares at the board and wonders if I can uh, always roll the die to whatever uh, number I want, what would be the least number of rolls to reach the destination? So the destination is uh, the 100. The game is played with a cubic uh, die of six faces numbered from one to six. So starting from square one, land on uh, square 100 with the exact uh, roll of the die. If moving the number rolled would place the player beyond uh, square 100 means no move is made. If a player lands at the base of the ladder, the player must climb the ladder. Ladders go up only. If a player lands at the mouth of a snake, the player must go down the snake and uh, come out through the tail. Snakes go down only. So this is like a directed uh, graph. If you assume ladders as a uh, upper direction and uh, snakes as a uh, downward direction, reach our uh, final destination that is 100 with the minimum number of uh, moves. So that's why we are going to use uh, BFS. So here the constraints is, uh, we have around uh, 10 test cases and the uh, n and uh, m is like 15 that is the number of uh, edges we have so the board is always uh, 10 cross 10 uh, with squares numbered from uh, 1 to 100 and uh, neither square 1 or nor uh, square 100 will be the starting point of a ladder or a snake so this uh, 1 and 100 will always be like a uh, empty uh, uh, cells or squares a square will have at most one endpoint from either a snake or a ladder. So it, it won't be overlapping. They just won't be overlapping. So we should not uh, bother about that. Now this is the sample input. This is a bigger uh, input. We have like two test cases and we have uh, the first uh, end lines is uh, okay. This is the ladder and these are the snakes. So here uh, the end lines contains uh, the ladder and uh, M is the snake. So here also this is the ladders and this is the snake. These are the edges like from 51 it will just go to 19. So that is the snake. And uh, here if you consider the ladder means it will be like uh, uh, lower number to higher number 32 to 62. So we can just uh, skip most of the cells uh, with the help of ladder. And uh, here we have like few explanations like uh, what the person should roll and um, how we can just um, get up to the ladder and uh, move to the destination. So for the first test, the player can roll a 5 or 6 to land on square uh, 12. There is a ladder to square 98. So it's like a biggest uh, ladder. And after that, uh, we can just uh, roll a 2, ends the traversal in 3 rolls. So the minimum number of rolls we need is three. That's how uh, it works. And here we have to roll uh, first five rolls. So the player first rolls five and uh, climbs the ladder to square uh, 80. Three rolls of six uh, get to a square of uh, 98. A final roll of two lands on the target square in five total rolls. So if you consider the whole board as a matrix means it will uh, go like that but treat it as a graph now we are going to solve this problem with the help of uh, bfs let's uh, dive into the solution now first uh, for the bfs uh, we have to uh, import one more module from collections import dq so this is for implementing the q now we will initialize a uh, graph so graph equals a dictionary so we will be quickly uh, getting those values now for x comma y n ladders plus snakes I'm just uh, combining this as a list so we'll be adding uh, all these edges now in the graph graph of x equals y so this is a uh, directed graph that's why i'm just uh, adding it as uh, only one time so directed graph so this is the initialization 
create the graph now after that uh, we will be uh, in using the queue so queue dq of a list of and again a tuple with the starting square as 1 and the number of uh, rolls of dice as 0 so this is the initialization of queue and uh, apart from that we have to go for visited in order to avoid um, repetition false multiplies by 101 so they already mentioned uh, we have um, squares from 1 to 100 so this is a like a zero based that's why uh, uh, i'm just adding a uh, additional one so 101 means it will have the index from 1 to 100 so visited is uh, initialized now while q i'll be just uh, getting the node and the number of rolls here by popping out from the queue so this is almost similar to bfs we just have to do one modification so this is the base case or when the node reaches the destination this is like check now if node equals 100 we will return the number of rules so it will always return the minimum uh, number that is the number of rules uh, requires to reach this node 100 if it doesn't uh, reach uh, the final destination that is 100 we will move on to the next step we will make the node as visited in order to avoid overlapping so visited equals true so the die can roll up to uh, 7 right so for i in range of 1 comma 7 now next node next node equals node plus i so what happens if we roll 1 what happens if we roll 2 so these are like all the permutations are uh, possible or combinations so we'll be uh, adding those into the queue whichever node uh, reaches the ladder it will go up to the ladder so we have to set those conditions like if next node is less than or equal to 100 and visited of next node equals false i'm just checking it's not even now uh, visited in order to avoid overlapping again so if next node in graph so that's why I just uh, had it in the dictionary so it can easily look up whether the key is available or not. So if it is uh, in the graph means we will be having q dot append of graph of next node comma rolls plus one. So if it is in the graph means it uh, if it uh, reaches the ladder means it will go upward it will increment the rolls um, if it reaches the snake means it will go down so we will be just uh, avoiding uh, those things mostly and else q dot append again next node that means uh, if the if there is no edges like there is no ladders or snake means we'll be having the next node and for this node i'll be having rolls plus one so this is the queue we are having and finally if we can't uh, reach the end node that means we will return minus one so no matter what we tried uh, we can't uh, reach the uh, final node means uh, we will be just uh, returning minus one i think uh, for this uh, problem most of the time I, uh, it will be having these uh, rules so it doesn't matter this is just for the uh, completion for this problem they didn't mention anywhere minus one right okay here they mentioned if there is no solution means uh, we have to print minus one that's why i'm having minus one here so it's always um, uh, better to have the alternate logic even the problem didn't specify any so this is the whole logic so we are just uh, using bfs to uh, traverse all the possible paths and uh, throughout the paths 
whenever we reach the destination it will be always uh, the minimum number of rolls taken so that's why we are uh, using bfs that is almost similar to a uh, greedy approach so this traversal is the possible rolls of the dice possible rolls of the die so that's why uh, it will be having one two six and uh, for the possible combination we are uh, checking for the condition and appending to the queue so the queue will go until uh, it has no nodes so this process uh, continues and for this problem you can always uh, trace with this examples uh, by drawing the squares or something so it will be uh, easier and they also have the example you can just easily trace it let's uh, run this once to check whether it is working or not yes it passed the sample test case okay let's submit the code yeah it passed all the test cases successfully so that's it guys this is the whole logic usually in the graph problems we will be um, using the base functions that we have studied in the algorithms that is uh, mostly this uh, searching BFS or DFS or uh, the minimum spanning tree, prims or cross call. So th those things are the basic. Using that, you just have to modify a few condition uh, like this for the corresponding problem. That is the only thing we have to do. Apart from that, everything remains the same. So if you have any other logic other than this, please leave a comment below. It will be very helpful for others. And apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.